Hi, everyone. Um, welcome tonight. Um, my name is Kevin Jankowski. I'm the director of the RISD Career Center, and I'm so glad that you're joining us as part of RISD Weekend. I know in the group tonight that um, there are families, there are students, and there are alumni. And um, this is a very unique time, and I hope you're all doing well, um, unusual times. And because of that, um, I'm going to take you on a whirlwind tour of resources that the Career Center provides. We're going to talk about career options, which is the title of the program. And then also, I want to really address the current environment, um, the environment that's been impacted by COVID-19 and by the economy. And throughout the presentation, I'm going to talk about how students and alumni um, can work with us to work through this time, this very unique time. So, um, you know, without further ado, and there's a lot to cover, I'm going to dive right into the presentation. And as you heard um, through the chat, um, do submit your questions. We're going to save them to the end. I have a feeling that um, through this presentation, you're going to have a lot of your questions answered. Um, however, I'm going to really welcome them at the end, and I look forward to addressing them. Additionally, um, some of you might want to um, take notes on your computer, on, your, on another device. You may want to have good old-fashioned um, paper and pen nearby. So let me give you just a moment um, as we switch over to the presentation, if you want to grab that and have that near you. As I said, um, this I really treat each year, and this is the presentation I've given each year um, to um, as part of RISD Weekend. I really treat it like a workshop. So there's a lot of, of very valuable information here, and we're going to cover a lot of territory um, in the course of this um, workshop. So let me switch over to the presentation. And at this point, you should all be able to see the first slide um, from the presentation. And now I'm just going to be sure to activate it. And it's working, which is always so great. Um, so with that said, I want to begin with how so many students and alumni um, begin a process of, of thinking about their career. And in that process, it's really critical to discover what's out there. Like you can't make choices unless you really un have an understanding of what is out there, what's available to you. Now, part of that involves good old fashioned research. As you go out and hunt, you're gonna talk to a lot of people. And in talking to people, you're gonna start to formulate what you wanna do, um, what matters to you, what's important, where you wanna be. And in that process, you're gonna make a leap. You're gonna be fearless and say, okay, I'm ready for this. At that point, when you do that, it's really critical that you start to prepare. And preparation might be preparing your resume, preparing your portfolio, your website, your social media, but all of those elements that are gonna help you gain that opportunity that, or the opportunities that you've now have found. Now, at this point, you start to switch from talking to people to networking, really connecting with people with a purpose that can get you closer to those goals. Um, and you're going to find that a lot of people are going to help you out and they're going to mentor you. And we're going to talk about that. And then finally, when all this starts to come together, you make that big leap and you really make it happen. You jump into it. One of the things I know, I'm a RISD alum, is that uh, many RISD alumni are perfectionists and many students are perfectionists. And you often don't want to make that leap until you're really ready and everything's just perfect. But there's a point where you just have to trust everything you put into, you, that you have put together and you make that leap and you make it happen. So with that said, when you now are in that zone, where do you start? I mean, this is, can be overwhelming to a lot of people. And I wanna basically have you start at our career site. So throughout this evening, I'm gonna keep redirecting you and opening often with a slide from the career site so that you can see where you can find this information, whether, you be, whether you're a student, whether you're an alum or whether you're a family member that wants to check out these resources. So it, one of the best ways to start at the site is in fact to meet with us. I can't emphasize this enough. Um, for students who start out in school and when they're a first year student, you often see the Career Center and the whole element of, of careers as something that's far in the future. And this is something I wanna encourage you to, to make this a part of your life while you're in school. Um, have a conversation with us as soon as you enter RISD. So if you've just started at RISD and you're in the fall semester, try to schedule an appointment. Fall is a great time to schedule an appointment. 
when things are a little quieter, just a little bit, than they can be during winter and during the spring. Also, alumni, as many of you know, if you're alumni out there, our services are available to you for the rest of your life. So also consider coming back to us, scheduling a meeting, and tapping um, the great expertise that we have among the career advisors. All of our career advising is remote, so um, you will be able to do it from anywhere in the world and will accommodate different timeframes as well. So this is the career staff. I have an absolutely fantastic staff. I, I, th these are incredible people. And in fact, in the next slide, you can see that that energy um, is really contagious. Now, I know in this time when so many challenging things are happening, this is a pretty joyful image to be showing. But I'm showing it to you because this is really the spirit of this office. And this energy is going to come right back at you when you're meeting with us. Um, we are really busy, though. We're busy all the time. So we do schedule a lot of appointments. In fact, we schedule over 2,000 appointments a year. Um, however, um, when you're a student on campus, we do drop-in appointments. So throughout the weekdays, you can schedule an appointment and set times where you do not, um, not schedule an appointment, when you, when you can just literally drop by remotely without a scheduled appointment and meet with us. We also have been training um, graduate assistants who are our student peer advisors. And these graduate assistants are just amazing. Um, they're incredibly helpful. And they also kind of know you peer to peer, which is great. Um, when I pulled up this image, uh, I must say it, it's really hard for me to look at in part because this is um, an area at 20 Washington where our office is located. This is a, a really multifunctional lobby area where we hold career workshops. We have great presentations from companies like Adidas that was here. And um, unfortunately, our entire year is remote because we're part of the de-densification process of RISD this year. And um, all of our programming, including um, presentations from companies, will happen remotely. So we're, we have been working hard on this throughout the summer. We've been working hard on it throughout the beginning of fall. And again, all of it will be available to students and, and alumni and others remotely. This is another great space, though. Um, it's the Auburn space of 20 Washington. And I'm showing you this also because this, believe it or not, this is a resume workshop where we brought in um, professionals from many different disciplines who met with students one-on-one -on -one to look at their resumes. And we had 130 students at this last year, which was fabulous. And this kind of um, opportunity, we again are going to reproduce on a remote level. Um, which is um, exciting. So as you heard earlier, connections are really critical. And as part of your connections, networking is, is, is a big deal. Now, I know for a lot of creative people, like one of the last things you want to hear is networking. And, and there are many of us who are very uncomfortable with networking. But networking is truly a part about building relationships, building relationships with people professionally, connecting with them, learning, being mentored. So at the career site, you can find a lot of great information about networking, but also I'm gonna lead you to something else, maybe a lot of artists and others don't tap as much, which is LinkedIn. RISD has an incredible array of LinkedIn um, groups. In fact, I, there's over 30 LinkedIn groups, um, which is amazing for a school our size. However, the biggest group is right here. It's the Rhode Island School of Design Alumni Group. And that group, when you click on this link, takes you to a group that has over 10,000 members. So I wanna encourage every student out there, I wanna encourage every alum, if you are not in this group, please in the, in the coming days, join this group. This group will give you tremendous networking power, improve your search process through LinkedIn, and it's one that all you simply have to do, you're gonna see request to join at the site, you click that, and be, through your RISD connections, you're going to be let into the group. Now, what I want to do is give you a bit of a crash course right now in the value of LinkedIn and using LinkedIn. So here's an example. Um, we take a really notable department at RISD, a big department like illustration. And you can see up here, we're going to do a search by illustration at LinkedIn. The next thing we want to do is we want to filter down where we want to look for illustration opportunities. So we're going to do greater New York City area, very common area for the students and alumni to go to. 
And then we're also going to, um, of course, select RISD as a school. Now, when I did that in the search, you can see here that it found 1,800 RISD students and alumni who are in New York City or connected to New York City and for which illustration is part of their profile. Now, as part of the profile, what you start to see are the outcomes that are happening, right? What you, the classic, if I major in illustration, what do I do with that major? What do I do with those skills that I'm learning in that department? So you can see here that we have RISD alumni that are involved in fashion illustration, that have worked at Paperless Post, that are involved in as a textile print professional. We also have another alum who's working as a matte painter and concept artist, and then another alum who's working at Scholastic. So this gives you a really fantastic sense of what outcomes are and places that you can start to consider. Just to show some examples, that fashion illustrator um, was Katie, and she's someone who's worked in the fashion industry with Michael Kors and other major companies. And you can see some of her fashion illustrations here. The matte painter was Ben, um, who's worked in character design, matte painting. He's worked in, involved, um, his name is uh, in, involved in matte painting, and he's in, also worked in movie posters and for a range of companies. And then you can also see what freelancers do in illustration. So this is Marley Gallardo. Um, some of you as students and alumni might be familiar with the fantastic poster she did for RISD admissions a couple of years ago. And this is a clip of her site where you can see her work for a whole range of really terrific clients. Now, to show you how you can use LinkedIn, talking about career options, we did illustration to illustration, but now let's look at healthcare and an area of healthcare and see what's going on with RISD alumni. So when I did healthcare and selected RISD, it found nearly 800 RISD alumni who are involved in healthcare. And this is a really big deal because our, our students and our alumni are getting involved in areas that often aren't associated immediately with art and design. They're involved with social justice issues. They're involved in financial markets, healthcare. They're also involved in the sciences and technology. And this is really exciting and it's been happening more and more. And it's also part of the vibrancy of this education. So let's look at some of them. Here we have Virgil. Um, and Virgil's an individual who's worked at medical avatar um, and this is another example of applying your skill sets from RISD into both the tech field and also the medical field. Here's an alum from the illustration department, Samantha Dempsey. Samantha has worked in research at the Mayo Clinic, at MADPOW, and employed those narrative skills, those storytelling skills from illustration into areas of healthcare. And then one of my own classmates, Randy, um, who graduated from architecture, in fact, is the principal and design director for Gensler, where he leads their global health and wellness practice area and has worked on projects such as the Tulsa Cancer Center through Gensler. Now, another aspect of LinkedIn is I often hear from fine artists, oh, well, of course, LinkedIn is great for designers, but you know, a lot of fine artists don't really need LinkedIn. They're not on LinkedIn. So I want to disprove that and show you that I did a search for a painting and then RISD and it pulled up profiles that have painting in it of over 5,000 alumni and students on LinkedIn. Now, when you click on that, you can find someone like Saul, who is a graduate from the printmaking department. He's an adjunct professor, but you can also check out his website. One of the great things about LinkedIn is that many people will link their website. You can see their work. Where do they get shows? What kind of grants have they attained and such? Here's a case where you can see Natalia Nakazawa. Natalia is an assistant director at the Elizabeth Foundation for the Arts in New York. Um, she's been a great friend and colleague of our office as well, participating in workshops and programs. Um, EFA is a great resource in New York. And once again, you can in fact see Natalia's work, um, which is uh, dealing with wonderful issues of race, and immigration and such. And then this is the one, um, if, if kind of seal the deal about being a fine artist and being LinkedIn. Anishalit Haber is one of RISD's um, MacArthur Genius Award winners, uh, MacArthur Fellows. And in fact, um, she has a really robust LinkedIn profile. So I often show 
fine artist this profile to just say, look at this. One of our own MacArthur Genius Award winners has this, and, the, and from painting is on LinkedIn. And these are some of her amazing projects that you should check out. Now, um, in the past year, I'm excited to tell you, and many of you might know, that the Alumni Relations Office at RISD has built an incredible new resource called the RISD Network. And through the RISD Network, alumni have been signing up, and there's a huge database of alumni who note their majors and backgrounds and where they live. And as students and alumni, you can go in, make your profile, and then connect to um, RISD alumni. And alumni can connect to alumni, students can connect to alumni, and these alumni are gonna mentor you, tell you about their experiences, and help to guide you professionally. We're so excited that RISD has this new resource from Alumni Relations, and this is one, again, all of you out there as students and alumni should be tapping and utilizing, and it's really exciting. Okay, so now we're gonna discover more of what's out there as we move past LinkedIn and the RISD network and networking. And I wanna take you to another kind of iconic resource at RISD, which is Artworks. Um, Artworks has been part of the Career Center brand for over 30 years. It's extremely well known to students, alumni, and employers. And every student and alum can tap the resource at internships and jobs. When they do that, you can log in, whether you're a student and alum, and there you're gonna find job postings, exhibition opportunities, and internships from galleries. You're gonna find them from major companies like Apple. You're gonna find them in different areas and disciplines like the Museum of Science in Boston, which is posted with us. You're gonna find them in apparel, in textiles, in the publishing markets. Once again, you're gonna find them in areas like finance. We work a lot with Fidelity Labs and they post to us um, consistently. And you're also gonna find them from the architecture field, landscape and interior architecture field, as well as other major companies like Nike. And you're gonna see grants and residencies as well, all listed at Artworks. So um, once again, if you're a student or an alum out there and you have not been tapping Artworks, be sure to go into Artworks, make a profile, and take advantage again of this really fantastic resource. Another great part of Artworks is that alumni post opportunities back to Artworks from their own businesses, the companies they work for. We love this. This is a big part of alumni reconnecting to RISD. And this is Adrian Gagnon, who runs Down City Design in Providence, who has often posted opportunities there. So in an environment that's not COVID or hit economically, we normally have nearly 3,000 postings a year, um, and then we often see over 1,000 internship postings in the database. Now, in addition to Artworks, we list a lot of other job boards and directories. So again, at the website, you click on internships and jobs. Students and alumni can search specific to their major, click on their major, and it will take them to job boards and directories in architecture like Archonnect, in the design fields like Coraflot, if you're an animation and film like Animation World Network, if you're a fine artist like New York Foundation for the Arts job board, if you're looking for opportunities in education, higheredjobs.com. We also have listings that have been bookmarked for recruiters and placement agencies. For so many years, we've been fortunate to work with the Creative Group and Robert Happ. And then more than ever, our students and alumni want to be involved in connecting back to community, social justice, and really helping people. So one of the best sites you can look at is idealist.org. And again, you can even do a search by designer to look for opportunities. And then there's good old link, uh, good old in, indeed.com. I'm sure a lot of you out there have used it. I think it's always a great resource to still do a sweep. In fact, just the other day, I did a search by artist in New York, New York, and it came up still with over a thousand job listings um, in New York, even in these, um, again, more challenging times of COVID and of economic impact. Now, speaking of artist resources, we have carved out a section at the site specific to artist resources. One of the first things many fine artists need to do is set up their studio practice. 
and find studio space. And a great site for you to utilize is called the Listings Project, especially if you're looking in New York. And I'm happy to say that the person pictured here is Stephanie Diamond, one of our own alumni who founded the Listings Project. We also link a lot of regional arts organizations because they're terrific places to connect to for opportunities. Um, the Steel Yard is again an iconic organization located in Providence, and it's um, also run by a RISD alum, um, Howie Snyder. We also book those in New York and across the country and across the world, once again, like the Elizabeth Foundation, and again, run by a RISD alum, as you saw, Natalia Nakazawa. We bookmark um, job boards that are specific to the fine arts, as you saw earlier with NIFA, but also higherculture.org um, in Massachusetts or Artist Trust out of Washington State. And we also isolate blogs that are um, really beneficial to fine artists like Artnet and Hyperallergic that are posting, um, they have their own opportunity postings of grants and residencies. And you can see here a recent posting of artist relief organizations um, that are there to help um, in time of COVID-19. So speaking of uh, grants and residencies that really do give artists and designers time and space for their work, you can find them again linked at the uh, Career Center site under artist resources and art residencies. One of the best sites for you to explore um, whether you're an artist or designer is the Alliance of Artist Communities um, it's an incredible support system for residencies, but it also has one of the most robust directories that you can utilize. You'll find residency programs there, such as the highly regarded Anderson Ranch. And I'm really glad to tell you, the Career Center for over a decade has been building partnerships with some of these really outstanding residency programs. So um, Anderson Ranch has a partnership with RISD in which we have matching funds and we've been doing this for a number of years. We also do this with Skowhegan, one of the most highly regarded residency programs. And you can see here that between Skowhegan and RISD, we have funded over $100,000 so that RISD um, graduates can go free um, when they are selected at Skowhegan. And that figure is between 2011 and 2019. We also have um, programs established with Oxbow, with Aramont, Monson Arts, and um, we are even looking to further connections. We did this so that there would really be concrete experiences to help emerging artists that are coming out of RISD. Another great directory, if you're looking internationally, is called Res Artis, and this one can help you find residency programs throughout the world. And then the Career Center, in fact, produces a newsletter that goes out every other week called Grant and Residency News. So we blast this to the entire student population so that they can see residency opportunities and workshops. And in fact, this fall in November, we have a workshop coming up called Exploring Artist Residency Opportunities. This workshop will be available not only to our students, um, but to alumni who can attend the workshop, which will be offered as a webinar. I wanna dive a little deeper into grants and awards because I know it's a really important support system that helps our artists and designers. So uh, through the career site, you can find, again, these resources under grants and awards. One of the really valuable resources is a site called Grants to Individuals that specifically highlights scholarships and grants and fellowships for students, artists, and researchers. Another um, resource that's been around for a long time and is very well known is NIFA Source. You can see here that it lists over 12,000 awards. And then the Career Center has been bookmarking fellowships and awards specific to artists and designers for over a decade. Our listing is now up to over 749 um, listings, and it's one of the best resources you're gonna find online. We're really proud of this resource. Once again, as a student or an alum, if you haven't tapped this, this is um, one of those kind of best kept jewels, so be sure to check it out. We just posted, for instance, to the database, um, the Bennett Prize. The Bennett Prize, in fact, awards $50,000 to a woman artist um, to help her build her first uh, solo show. 
another um, fabulous award that is specific to seniors uh, graduating from RISD is called the Wingate. In fact, today, um, prior to this presentation, I was working on our um, marketing and promotion efforts that we'll be sending to those students um, starting um, literally in another week or so. And the Wingate offers $15,000 to help an artist whose work is craft-based um, in order to support their work. And, and this is our one of our recent graduates, Elizabeth, who um, achieved that award. And we've been really fortunate through the Career Center that a number of our graduates over the past several years have been awarded the win. Um, the Meharam Fellowship is something that every student at RISD needs to know about. It is um, a, a prestigious award. We've been offering it for eight years. The Meharam um, Company and Foundation is absolutely incredible in supporting this. You can see the amount of money here is, is just amazing. In the past eight years, RISD students have been supported with $400,000 in these fellowships and internships that have impacted public policy. The Meharam Fellowship is um, pivoting next year and the fellowship is gonna focus even more on social justice and sustainability, which is really exciting. Here you can see one of this summer's fellows, um, Uni Cho. Um, Uni worked on a fellowship uh, called the Lighting Detectives. Um, she did it remotely from Korea, but the um, fellowship was based in Germany and it is outstanding. And you can actually check out through the links at the career site, what the fellows did this summer and I think you're gonna be incredibly inspired um, by what the Meharam Fellowship does. And of course, many of you out there know about the Fulbright. The Fulbright is one of the highest achievements you can attain as an um, academically based award at um, most American colleges. And the RISD uh, Career Center, in fact, is the support system for the Fulbright US student program. And through the Fulbright, um, since 1975, over 89 graduates from RISD have been awarded the Fulbright. RISD consistently ranks as one of the top producing Fulbright institutions in the United States among all the specialty schools. So if you're a student right now or you're a recent graduate, do consider the Fulbright. Now the Fulbright obviously sends you out into the world. And I know that uh, this is a time of great concern about the impact of COVID throughout the world. The Fulbright is continuing its fellowship um, and we are supporting that. We will be submitting um, a number of candidates in another week uh, to the Fulbright and then the cycle will begin again. So I do hope you'll consider it. I think it's one of the most important ways through an award to engage globally. And I, again, do hope you'll um, attend our workshops and check it out. Okay, as I told you earlier, as you start to find out about opportunities, you need to be prepared. So through the career site, and when you click on career prep, you'll find resources like our career essentials booklet, which especially helps you to build your resume. And uh, whether you are a designer or a fine artist, we have lots of resume examples there for you to check out. As families out there, you know that the resume gets you the interview, but the interview gets you the job. So every year we run a, a program called um, In the Hot Seat, and it's a program where you get to be a fly on the wall and watch students be interviewed by professionals and get to really see how it's done, the kind of things that are asked. So this is the nature of our program. We wanna really give you the nuts and bolts that are gonna help you be best prepared for these opportunities. Another thing that everyone needs is they need to have a web presence. And RISD Portfolios has been a great resource for our students and alumni to post their work work that covers areas of illustration, industrial design, textiles, apparel, the architecture, the fine arts, painting, printmaking, graphic design, sculpture, glass, and more, and jewelry. <laughs> we have over 6,500 students and alumni and faculty have profiles at RISD portfolios, and many companies check the site out to look for RISD talent. Now, we want you to gain more knowledge because we want you to be well prepared. So gaining more knowledge often can mean attending our workshops and programs. We do programs throughout the winter session, throughout the spring, and of course, right now throughout the fall. So this is our brand new um, Hot Off the Press poster 
for our fall programs, which in fact begin tonight with this career options program. So thank you for helping to launch that tonight. And throughout the year, students receive emails from us that tell them every week what program is going on, like this program Ready, Set, Freelance, which is offered in the spring. Many of our programs um, take place, of course, used to take place on campus, and you're seeing another view, but all of the programming will be remote this year. And we'll offer, once again, over 30 programs, and we will still offer tailored programs in studios throughout the school. In fact, our staff are already offering these programs, and one of my colleagues, Scott Malloy, I believe he has a program tomorrow specifically for glass, and will be presenting in the glass studio. The Career Center, because of the impact of COVID, has been building on-demand tutorials, which we did throughout the spring and summer. We'll continue to add to those. You can find the tutorials under Career Prep, and they cover all of those basics, from resumes to cover letters, jobs, freelancing, LinkedIn, et cetera. Another great source for you to find career advice is through Facebook and through Instagram. So we really treat our Facebook page as a resource for internships, jobs, career advice tips, and programming. And if you are on Facebook but haven't um, connected to us, then do connect to us. And once again, we're on Instagram, and you can connect to us on Instagram, um, specifically through RISD Careers. Now, um, it's hard to believe in this digital age that um, uh, I'll say jokingly that people are still reading, but thank goodness they're still reading. And there are some really fantastic books out there that I wanna recommend to both students and alumni and to families. One of the best books I think on the market is called Artwork. And this book covers um, such a fantastic range of topics that pertain to establishing yourself as a fine artist. Another terrific book is produced by the New York Foundation for the Arts and it's called The Profitable Artist. This book is really more almost like a business prep book and will take you through a lot of the essentials in setting up your studio practice as a business. And I think that's really critical. And then for many designers, I would highly encourage you, if you haven't done so, to purchase the, um, the Graphic Artist Guild Handbook to Ethical and Pricing Guidelines. It's a book that's been well known for a long time. It offers great pricing ranges, but also offers um, templates for contracts, lots of great legal advice. And these three books are books that I really encourage everyone to kind of purchase and have. Now I'm gonna bring this back to networking and learning from professionals. The Career Center um, for our students offers these massive events. Um, we do a design portfolio review and we do a fine art portfolio review. The events are so big that we host them at the convention center in Providence. So um, as I've been saying throughout this evening, we will be offering this event remotely and we will offer it just as robustly as we've done at the convention center. Hopefully in another year, we'll return to face-to-face meetings and we'll have it at the convention center, but this program will be offered remotely in the coming year. Um, it does involve a, a terrific evening prior to the program involving a networking session. Um, in past years, we in fact um, hired RISD photographers to take um, headshots of everyone who was attending so they could use those professional headshots for their LinkedIn profile, for their websites, and for their other online presence. And during the portfolio review, students got to meet with companies in architecture, interior architecture and landscape, companies in the fields of apparel design and textiles, companies involved in graphic design, advertising and marketing, companies in industrial design, furniture and consultancies. And they also got to meet with animation studios, toy design companies and publishing houses. We do the exact same thing for the fine arts. And in the fine arts, we bring in curators and gallerists and residencies. Um, and it's, once again, students get to meet with these individuals and these organizations. This gives you a view, a kind of a physical view of what the portfolio reviews look like, which even every time I look at this amazes me. You can see that over 600 students attend both of the reviews, 150 companies and organizations, and then nearly 
3,500 face-to-face reviews took place. Those same kind of face-to-face reviews are gonna take place through Zoom um, when we do this remotely in the spring. And I wanna end this presentation portion by talking about business and entrepreneurship at RISD. You can find, again, these resources at the career site under business and freelance, where we offer a whole range of great advice, everything from pricing your work, contracts, um, you know, how to market and really promote yourself. We also send out um, a publication every other week called Entrepreneur News, and we highlight entrepreneurial opportunities like the Breakthrough Lab. In fact, the Breakthrough Lab at Brown just did their pitch night um, a week ago, and there were two RISD-related companies that were part of that Brown pitch night. One of the past companies um, was this one from Yalitza, and it's called Healthy Roots, and Yulitsa has done absolutely amazing in launching her company over the past several years, and she was in the Brown Breakthrough Lab. Rizzi also has an entrepreneurial club that's student-run called eShip, and they have run an, an incubator called Upstart. So if you're a RISD student, do look into these clubs that have been very vital on campus. Also, the Career Center runs a program called Art of Business. Now, um, every other year, we call it the Art of Business Boot Camp. This year, we're gonna run it as a series during winter session. So this Art of Business series will take you through pricing your work, um, what are different business entities, taxes, those taxes, um, how to write contracts, how to license your work, market yourself. And um, this is the program, again, available to not only students, but to alumni. We also have worked with the New York Foundation for the Arts every year and offered a boot camp with them. And then every other year, we offer our own ted like conference called RISD Mindshare, where we bring in RISD alumni who have started businesses. They run an incredible gamut from fine art related businesses to design businesses. You're seeing here Sarah Durham, and Sarah is a graduate, um, actually from illustration, who runs a, an incredible um, consultancy in New York called Big Duck. And she helps nonprofits become more profitable and raise the funds they needed to do good work. And she does a lot of work that has been centered around um, social justice, including the work that she did with the Center for Constitutional Rights. Rizzi also has a uh, terrific collaboration with the Harvard Business School online. In fact, um, when you participate in this as a student, you will um, be exposed to areas of business analytics, economics for managers, and financial accounting. You can see that there are about 20 or so colleges that have this collaboration, and RISD is one of the only art and design schools involved in the collaboration. Here's one of our RISD graduates who is featured at the Harvard blog. And in the past several years, we've had 103 students admitted into the program. Over 66 students have participated. And the other great part about this is that Harvard has awarded scholarship funds to those students who are receiving financial aid at RISD. So Harvard has offered over $55,000 to support our students in taking these online classes. Um, this past summer, Harvard offered the online courses to our RISD students for um, $450 to all students. And um, I'm really happy to tell you that between the May and June cohorts, almost 200 RISD students participated um, in the online Harvard Business School, which is pretty mind blowing to me and really cool. And we really appreciate that Harvard did this. And finally, I'm gonna end on Kickstarter. We manage RISD's Kickstarter page um, for the past eight years. You can see here that um, Luke, Luca, um, in fact, raised over $200,000 for this project that he started when he was in school. This, in fact, is an alum from Graphic Design who wanted to be part of New York Fashion Week and raised $11,000. And this is an alum from Illustration, Nashra, who um, developed a board game while she was in school that dealt with arranged marriages. And she went and used Kickstarter and raised over $21,000, and it also gave her a lot of PR for the project. In the past eight years, the RISD Kickstarter page has raised $7,600,000 um, for 
RISD students and RISD alumni projects, which is incredibly exciting. So with that said, and ending on that incredibly high note, we're gonna end here. And I know that was a whirlwind tour and a ton of information, but I'm gonna stop sharing my screen here, which means that um, I'm gonna be on the screen now. And I, am, I can see that there are a lot of questions in the chat. So I'm gonna move over to the chat and start to look at those questions and start to answer those questions for you. I hope to, that this presentation gave you just um, a lot of great insight and um, a great sense of our resources and programming and the career options that are out there for students and alumni. So let me take a look here um, in the chat. So um, there's a question um, and, and probably from a student and this question says, I was wondering why the career fair is not available to freshmen. Um, the design portfolio review and the fine art portfolio rev review are ones in which the companies often do and organizations look to the students um, for potential future hire. That can include internships and jobs. And over the years, the companies have really requested that the students be ready for those opportunities to do their portfolios. For that reason, even as you move through freshman year, you're not specifically in your major yet. And that is why we really start the program for sophomores, juniors, seniors, fifth year architects, graduate students. Um, and it has worked very effectively because students are better prepared to show their work to these companies for those, um, to be at that level and for those opportunities. So another question, are there resources for alumni who are planning to relocate? And are there re resources for mid to late career alumni who are making a transition from one full-time career to another career area? Um, as I said earlier, our resources are available and our advising is available to all alumni, no matter what stage you are in your career. So definitely schedule a career advising appointment with our staff, which you do online. It'll be a remote uh, appointment at this time. And um, I can assure you in the 20 years that I have worked in the Career Center, I've advised many alumni regarding the exact uh, topic that you noted. Um, how do you transition from one job to another area? How do you relocate? How do you build your network? How do you find resources? And then also, how do you pre prepare for major career moves that might even include semi-retirement? So these are topics, areas that we've covered and their topic and topics and areas that I welcome, and I really hope you'll tap our office. Another question, is the Harvard and other school relationships available to alumni? So Harvard's arrangement with RISD and the, um, is specific to our students and to those that have just graduated. So if um, students graduate um, as those that just graduated in 2020, they're eligible for the programs at that time but unfortunately alumni after that time frame are not. However, um, regarding other relationships that I've noted, um, in fact, a number of the residency programs and are available to alumni and supported with the funding that you saw. So basically, I would really encourage you to go through the resources, check out which ones are specific to students, which are specific to alumni, and which are specific to or available to both. Let me check out some of the other questions here. I know some great links have been provided to the portfolio reviews, to the Meharam Fellowship, to the Fulbright. To artworks. I think um, a lot of the postings to the chat were great postings from my colleagues who are adding links to the program so that you could see them. Um, I guess at this point, um, please um, address any other questions. I guess I, I wanna ask all of you out there um, who attended tonight, and thank you so much for attending tonight. Um, was this program helpful to you? Did you gain new insights that you didn't have before? Um, and again, please take the opportunity to ask your questions now. See what's coming soon. <laughs> I 
I'm going to read this um, comment which was made, which is um, from a student it said, so far my freshman year has been crushed with schoolwork. How in the world um, are you able to take advantage of all these wonderful opportunities? So having been a student at RISD uh, and a, I'm an alum of RISD and I know the, and remember the freshman year very, very well, um, I understand completely where you're coming from. Um, it is a case, definitely. First of all, I think, you know, school has started. It was a very unique start to school with quarantine and adapting to the kind of the new normal and balancing the um, studio experiences now with the remote learning. That's an awful lot to juggle um, in addition to that, that really fabulous RISD education, which is just so much, uh, so much newness, which you're experiencing also as a freshman. So I want to assure you, um, fit this in and, and start to take in some of it when you can. Um, if you can in this first year, schedule a career advising appointment with us, do one advising appointment. If you can fit in more than that, it's great. If you can attend programs during winter session and the spring um, that could help you with your resume, that could help you build your LinkedIn profile, that could help you build your portfolio, then fit them in when you can. But I definitely don't want the presentation tonight to um, kind of add stress to you. Um, first of all, our programming is gonna be available to you as a sophomore or junior. Um, it'll be available to you after you graduate. Um, so really try to balance it. It's really critical in this time when we're all impacted again um, by COVID and by these new circumstances. So keep that in mind. And I do hope you will have a chance in your freshman year to connect to us. So another question that came up is how is COVID affecting the job market for RISD grads? And that's something that in fact, we're gonna be um, conducting our alumni career survey, which we do every year. And that survey will be going out in the coming weeks. And I, uh, that survey is gonna be very telling about how COVID and the economy is impacting our graduates. However, I think as a pulse um, on the current environment, there's no doubt that we are all feeling the impact it's having on the economy, on, on restaurants, on service providers. Um, however, there are areas, as we know, the tech markets have remained very strong and very stable. Um, we have many graduates working in a broad range of the tech markets. There um, also, and I have to say, this has always been a case, our alumni and our students um, have freelance. Many people began freelancing when they're in high school, maybe even middle school. They continue to freelance when they're at RISD and they freelance after they graduate. I have found um, always that freelancing has been a gateway for so many RISD graduates to start their own business. And I say that because freelancing offers a lot of flexibility and it has allowed a lot of people to take on a side gig in order to pull an income from projects. Another factor is that in this economy when um, budgets might be tighter, um, people may turn to a RISD alum or even a RISD student to take on a project that can help them market themselves better, promote themselves better, um, produce design work that can really um, aid their business. So freelancing has been something that has really gotten us through other recessions and um, when you think about markets where you can't freelance, it is really fascinating in the art and design realm that so many um, artists and designers understand freelancing, have been engaged with it, and have it as both an alternative or even as a major source of their income. But there's no doubt that the economy is impacting every sector and every market. Let's see. Um, Okay, so another question was, if a student finds a summer internship, can you find, can you help in finding housing? And yes, that's another factor. You'll find at the career site that we have posted housing resources. And um, in several major cities, there are specific resources um, that organize college and university housing and make it available to interns in that city. This is very common in New York City and several other markets. Um, the organization in New York that's quite well known is EHS, and we've bookmarked that organization at the career site. We've also, again, have a whole variety of other links 
there's no doubt that we all have to see what the impact of COVID will be um, in the coming year and how it may impact next summer. RISD pivoted very quickly. Um, my office, in fact, wrote up the remote guidelines for the institution for internships, and you can see those posted at the career site. And in many cases, um, internships that were gained by our students that were meant to be on site did in fact go remote. And those internships um, might have even gone hybrid um, at the end of the summer. We are um, really seeing that next summer, in my opinion, is probably gonna be a mix of everything from hybrid to remote to on-site. And we will work with you um, as we would any student to help you find the resources you need to make that internship happen. But we do have housing resources at the career center. So another question was, um, so many great resources. Will you do something to get the freshmen aware of this? So um, I'm happy to tell you and to tell all families that um, year after year during winter session, we run a program specific um, for the freshmen and it's called Career Resources for Freshmen. We've done that every year, I think for the past 10 years. And we tailor what you saw tonight to freshmen so that they um, can really access the resources even more from their, their um, you know, status and just coming into RISD. Um, we have had incredible support from the Foundation Studies area, and they have, in fact, through their um, staffing, encouraged almost uh, 100 plus freshmen every single year to attend that program. So we will be presenting that program once again during winter session to all freshmen. Let's see. Um, so regarding, um, there's a question about RISD helping students and the isolation they're experiencing during the pandemic. I can speak, uh, I'm speaking very much from the Career Center perspective. I hope that you have heard tonight as a student that you can meet with us one-on-one -on -one remotely, um, that you can attend these programs both live and, and have accessibility to them as a webinar, um, that all of our programming will be available to you in the major events remotely. Now, I know that term remote um, could be associated with isolation, but it, as we are all working remotely, I guess what I want to really emphasize is that you can meet one-on-one -on -one with a person live who can talk through these things with you. Um, I, our entire staff, when we had to go to remote in March, um, pivoted almost immediately to remote um, career advising. And it has gone very well. Um, when we talk to students, we talk about where they are, where they're at, the things that they're experiencing. And um, I very often, um, we're there to cheerlead with you. We want you to feel empowered and excited to pursue the opportunities we're talking about. And we know that these are really challenging times or really hard times. We also really encourage you to connect to business counseling services um, for any uh, you know, support you need so that you are really approaching all this from a point of um, wellness and health, which is really critical. So let's see, let me take one more question and then we're gonna wrap it up. Um, I know this has just been a, a, a ton of information and also, um, I know for many of you uh, and myself, um, you may be engaged um, and just uh, soon after this presentation and listening to the president, vice presidential debates tonight. So we do want to end the program. Let me see if there's any one final question to end with. Okay, I think we covered um, most of the questions that came through. No more questions. So um, thank you so much. I wish I could see all of you tonight um, and because uh, it's so important to connect with people. Um, good luck to all of you. Reach out to the office and I wish you the best um, in these really fascinating, challenging and, and at times uh, tough times. So take care and good luck to all of you. Good night.